cute, cuddly and vulnerable. Australia now considers koalas a threatened species, but only in some areas. In the last 20 years, the koala population has dropped by 40% in Queensland and by a third in New South Wales. It's in those states and the Australian Capital Territory that they're deemed to need protection. Conservationists say it's only a partial victory and accuse the Environment Minister of introducing half measures. I really believe that it should be all or nothing and I don't understand why he's choosing which koalas to, to, to list and which ones he's not going to. The Environment Minister Tony Burke says the decision is justified because koala numbers are stable in other parts of the country. The ruling was made after a three-year study by the Threatened Species Scientific Committee. We're talking about a species that is not only iconic in Australia but is known worldwide. A species that has taken a massive hit over the last 20 years and we can't wait any longer before we turn the corner when the scientists are telling us the evidence is in. The Australian Koala Foundation has accused the government of putting business interests ahead of the environment. The logging industry, the development industry and, um, and forestry all pleaded with the senators last year, please do not list. The government says it's committed to protecting the animal and is spending $300,000 on habitat research. But conservationists warn that this won't be enough to save the koala, found only in Australia. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.